Your next power button can be found at the very top of the device. On the bottom of your nook is the jack you'd use to plug your device into the computer and a headphone jack. Additionally, the nook has two built-in speakers. To turn on your Nook, press and hold the power button at the top of the device. Use the touchpad on the lower portion of the device to navigate through the Nook's available features. To access your books, click on My Library. Use the up and down arrows to navigate through your library. To select an item, click the circular button on the right-hand side of the touch screen. This will open your selected item. Use the arrow buttons on the left and right-hand side of the nook to turn pages. Use the right facing arrow to turn pages forward and the left facing arrow to turn them backward. Use the Nook button immediately above the touch screen to reactivate it. Press the button again to return to the original navigational page. To navigate through your books visually, Click on My Library. Next, scroll down to and click on Show Covers. This will allow you to scroll through your books visually on the touch screen itself. To open a book, click on the cover. To close this view, click the X in the upper right hand corner. To return to the main screen, click the arrow on the left-hand side. Click Reading Now to return to the book you currently have open on your Nook. To access ebooks you have checked out from your local library and have downloaded onto your Nook, Navigate to the Go to My Documents link in your My Library folder. You can also find the Nook Tour and the Nook User Guide in this area. We are going to open the Nook Tour. The Nook Tour will help you become more comfortable with your device. Follow the on-screen instructions to familiarize yourself with the Nook's buttons and other capabilities. Going through this guide carefully will help you become more comfortable with using and navigating through your Nook. If you know you're not going to be using your Nook for a while, put the device to sleep by pressing the power button at the top of the device briefly. This will not entirely power down your Nook. To wake it back up, press the power button again. To check the settings for your Nook, 
press the Settings button. Through this menu, you're able to examine the individual settings of your Nook, including you the email you address, can also your load audio files, files you can your Nook's software touch screen on the bottom of so, the available device, you can find on your device, in the folder including audio an installable micro SD music card and it. the Nook's own internal memory, the percentage of battery remaining, the Wi-Fi network your Nook is connected to, and the device's individual serial information. You can also shop for books using your Nook. Clicking the Shop button will take you to the Barnes & Noble store, and to purchase items from the store, you must have a credit card or a Barnes & Noble gift card on record with your Barnes & Noble account. Your Nook also comes preloaded with games. To access these, click on the Games folder. The two games that come preloaded are Sudoku and Chess. Finally, to power off your Nook completely, press and hold the power button until the screen goes blank.